What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I style my hair. Now that I cut my hair off, I did get a couple of requests on how I'm styling my hair. It definitely took a lot of practice and time. Um, I was a little frustrated in the beginning because I didn't know how to style it. To me, styling hair that's longer is easier than short hair. Um, but I did try a couple of methods and I found two that really worked for me. So I was going to show you guys. Um, how I curl my hair and do these kind of loose waves using both a curling or a curling iron and a flat iron. Now the curling iron that I'm going to be using, I don't know the size of it. I think it's maybe like less than an inch. I really wish I had the size, but this is by uh, Jill, Jill Barrett de Paris. I got this at Sally's many, many years ago. It's a little dirty. I try to clean it up, but I think it's just a lot of product that's been built up over the years. But I'm going to continue using this thing until it doesn't work. It heats up really, really well. And then I'm also um, using a flat iron from that I got from Sally's. This is just a ceramic flat iron. This one, again, I've had for many, many years. Works really well. Heats up really fast. Um, so, yeah, those are the two styling hot tools that I'm going to be using. All right, so let's jump into the video. Okay, so right now I have um, two-day old hair, meaning I have not washed it in two days. Um, so we're definitely getting to that time, but I'm going to use a little bit of uh, dry shampoo, just a little bit on the roots. Um, the one that I use is from Batiste, but I mean, really any dry shampoo would work. So I'm just going to spray a little bit on the roots, kind of the parts where it's a little bit more, most oily. And that should do it. And then we'll just kind of give it a good shake. All right, so um, I like to do my part down the middle. Um, and I know you see me looking down, but it's because I have the mirror in front of me. And you might see a few gray hairs, but you know, I just didn't have time to, to go get them retouched. Okay, that's, a, that's about right. So first you always want to start with um, heat protective spray. Um, I always use the Tresemme if you guys have watched my other hair videos. I always use this one. I'm almost out of it actually. So just spray it all over your hair. This one smells really good and it doesn't leave like a residue like some other others do. So that's why I like this one. All right, so I'm going to do one side of my hair with the straightener and then the other side with the curling iron. So you can see kind of both methods and whichever one, um, you know, find you find most easiest to do. Um, but definitely give both of them a try. You never know which one will make it easy. Now, the bottom part of your hair, since it is, uh, if you have short hair, it's really not that important that you get it right. I mean, it's going to be covered up anyway. So um, my hair is kind of already growing from the last time I cut it. Um, but I'll show you kind of what I do. So I just kind of section off and start with the bottom part of my hair. I'm going to do this side with the curling iron, or I'm sorry, with the flat iron. Okay, so you want to hold the curling, um, you want to hold the flat iron down and then pull away from you. You see how I'm doing away? Is this uh, kind of like curling away? And then if you were doing it inward, you were curled towards your face, but you don't want to do that for this. Um, I mean, unless you want to. I just think that um, curling away from your face makes the curls or waves look better. So again, pointing the flat iron down and curl away. And I'm holding this other piece with my other hand and I'm slowly sliding that down all the way up to here. And then I just kind of let that go. Now that is a little too curly for my taste, but it's okay if the curls are too tight. Um, that means either you're holding on to the curly or the flat iron a little too long, so it's easier if you just go faster because it won't you won't get as tight of a curl unless you want that look. Um, but either way, if you do end up with tight curls like this, uh, you can always brush them out later, which is what we're going to do anyway. And then you'll notice that I kind of left the bottom section um, out from when, from the heat. I just kind of like that look to where the bottom pieces are straight and they're not curled up. And you'll kind of see, kind of gives it more of that beachy um, look at the end. So again, I'll take another piece here and I'm taking maybe like, I don't know, an inch piece. Um, the smaller hair sections you get, obviously the tighter or smaller the curls will be. So again, I am pointing the flat iron downwards and then I'm holding this other section with my other hand and I'm curling away and then I'm slowly dragging it down and then I'll let go see you got that piece there and I'll keep going 
uh, kind of towards the back gets a little a little hard but it's okay because the bottom back pieces um, again if you have short hair you won't really be able to to see them anyway so again curling out sliding it and then release okay another thing you can do um, like right now I have my hair that's kind of been like this for about two days um, but sometimes after I shower and I blow dry my hair the bottom pieces puff up a lot so what you can do also real quick is just straighten out the bottom set the bottom pieces that just like I might have to do with th this right here um, just so that you can get kind of more of that straight bottom uh, section after the curl so those are pretty quick not going to take long then I'll kind of section off the next part of my hair and we'll keep going Now that one didn't come out like I wanted to, so let me just, and again, don't, um, ho don't hold on to the flat iron really hard. Um, I used to do that and it just, um, feels like it damages your hair more. Like don't squeeze on the, the, don't grip the flat iron really hard. Just kind of hold it loosely because it makes it easier for your hair to slide through, um, much easier. See? And again, we're gonna brush these out later, so I'm not worried about them being too, too tight. Again, unless you want that look. Okay, now um, the front pieces are going to be a little bit more tricky. I kind of like the more soft wave in the front of the face. I don't like it too um, where it's too marked if that makes sense um, so you want to hold the flat iron even more loosely and kind of go through that quickly away from the face slide down and there you go I like that All right, so that's one side done. Uh, it's a little frizzy right now, but then we'll kind of style it with some uh, products. So um, this is what it looks like with the flat iron. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it with the curling iron. It's a little dirty, but I've had this for a really long time. It's lasted me like forever. I've got it many, many years ago, um, but it still works and I'm gonna keep using it until it doesn't. So I'm going to face the barrel. Again, we're curling outward, so out from your face, and I'll show you what I mean. So um, if I hold it like this, I'm curling away from the face versus if you were curling inward, you would hold the uh, barrel downward and go inward. And I, I don't want to go for that look. Ah, make sure it didn't turn off on me. So again, we're going to curl everything away from the face. And I like to hold the barrel um, upward. And I'm a lefty, so if this looks a little weird, it's because I'm a lefty. So again, curling away from the face. And then I just don't even hold it very long. So again, just the bottom section, especially if you have short hair, is really uh, a little tricky. But again, it doesn't have to be perfect because these curls are going to be covered up anyway. So there, that was really fast. Um, honestly, I think the curling iron, uh, for me, is a faster way to style my hair than the flat iron. But I also look like how the flat iron um, looks as well. And pointing the barrel um, upwards and curling away from my face and I'm sliding it through curling up leaving a little section and releasing you see how I kind of just left that little section again um, and I'm get I'm going really fast because I don't want the curl to be too tight so and this again this wand is just um, holds the heat very very well you see and again, don't worry about them being kind of tight right now because we are going to brush them out. So again, curl, slide, curl again, and then release. They are so frizzy. Okay, again, just you want to work really fast with the front part of your hair. Um, I just like the softer approach. So I'll just take the same piece here. Curling away from the face, curl and then release. 
Now this one is, you can see, a little bit more um, curled than this side, but it's okay. If you do that, you can also kind of go back and kind of run it down quickly and see it kind of smooths it out. So if it comes out too curly, um, just slide the one through and it'll soften up the curl, uh, especially in the front of the face. So we'll keep going with the rest and we're almost done. Now I kind of find that um, kind of, you know, what I, how I was releasing the curl by un unwrapping it from the wand uh, gives it a little bit different look. So I'll show you what I mean. Um, I'm curling it and then I unwrap it. It gives it kind of a, I don't know, it just it looks different to me <laughs> than rather than just opening up the barrel and releasing the curl by unwrapping it. It just gives it a different look and I like that. So I think we're done here. Now we need to tame this frizz because it is out of control. Um, now I use a couple of products. You've probably seen them again on my previous hair videos. First, I'm going to put a um, smoothing serum. This one is from uh, Sally's. It's just a generic value product, which is uh, kind of a dupe from the um, Paul Mitchell. And it gives your hair a little shine. It smells so good and clean. Um, and I'm just running that through my hair with my fingers and it just adds a little bit more smoothness and shine to your hair if it's a little dull okay now if you just want a more uh, subtle beachy wave i really like this style but if you want to kind of spice it up and maybe give it more volume um, maybe going going out at night or something i like to do that i'm going to tease my hair a little bit and just kind of give it a little bit more volume from the um, from the crowns of my hair and so I have this little teasing brush um, it's got the bristles that are I don't know what they're called but they're like really close together I got this at Sally's as well and then I'm going to use a little bit of hairspray and I have the frizz ease hairspray this is just the one I've been using um, but any hairspray works so what I like to do is just kind of tease the crown of my the sides of my head and the back of my head and I just kind of randomly I mean there's really no neat way to do this but I just kind of um, go with my crown is I'll spray a little hairspray just a little bit and then I'll grab the comb and tease the bottom parts okay and I'll just kind of keep doing that in a couple of sections around the crown of my hair on the sides and on the back and again this you know it's kind of going to look a little messy but you'll see what I'm talking about and then I'm going to do the back part as well spray a little bit and tease so now we got to um, kind of what I like to do at this point is probably grab a little bit more of this uh, texturizing paste I know my hair looks a little crazy right now and um, as I try to tame these curls or this tease here, I'll just kind of do it with my hands. And you see how it really does give your hair a lot of volume. I really like this look too. Um, you can totally do it with short hair or long hair. I really like all this volume though definitely um you know glams it up a little bit more there it is so i'm just gonna show you kind of what the back looks like and the other side all right i really like how it turned out well there it is you guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe bye